got pulled over by the state patrol on I-90 in South Dakota, but it's a good thing on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. Yep, that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, so uh, yeah, I got pulled over in South Dakota by the state patrol today. I had just stopped and got this uh, great sandwich at this, uh, I was gonna get Arby's, but they had a huge line. So I found this, it was like called uh, Dandy Dan's of South Dakota of Sandwich, I don't know. But it looked really good. It had like uh, ham and pepperoni and salami and turkey and all on there with cheese. And it said, it's best if you put it in the microwave. So I did, I put it in there and oh, nice, hot, melty, uh, good sandwich. So I'm uh, going through the construction zone across uh, the Missouri River at that point. Um, then we come back out through that, back to the top of the hill, finally catching up speed a little bit. Construction zone ends, and I see Mr. Bear there on the left. All right, there we are coming up the hill out of the construction zone. Well, you can still see it's the construction zone right there, but climbing up that hill, this one thing I always complain about the dash cam, doesn't really show you when you're going up or down a hill all that much. But anyway, we're trying to climb back up the hill, trying to catch my speed back up a little bit. You can see right there, I'm going about 67 miles an hour as we're getting up towards the top of the hill. And we crest over the top, catching up speed a little bit, and uh, just start to look over there to the left. It's coming right up. There he is, Mr. Bear, hello. Don't really think much about that. You see him in the median all the time. And it's about this point that I realize, oh, he's kind of pulled up behind me with his lights flashing. I'm going 74 right there. You can see I'm not speeding. So I'm like, okay, well, I wonder if he's trying to pull me over or he's going to pass me. Well, no, he decides he's going to pull me over, so I pull on over to the shoulder. All right, I'm getting pulled over for some reason by the cops. Speed limit's 80. I was going 76. I don't know what the heck he thinks he's gonna get me for. I'm gonna have to pull off on the shoulder. I was looking for someplace safer to pull off. Didn't see anything. So right here I see him walking up the side of the truck and here he comes. Please don't open the door. The dog's here. He doesn't like new people, but Hi there. Uh, just doing the uh, paperwork inspection okay. Is there an off ramp or something close we can go to instead of being on the shoulder? Not, not close, there's not, no. So. They're just sitting on the shoulder. It's okay. Um, do you care if I just get it done get you, get you rolling? Or? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sure, what do you need? You got your uh, driver's license and then the uh, binder with all your truck information on yeah. the bill dating, so. Okay, uh, if you want to close the door and stand up on the yeah, step. Does that work better? Yeah, because it... Okay, so, um, yeah, I just got this sandwich from, where was I? Chamberlain, something like that, South Dakota, and heated it up and was enjoying my nice, hot, wonderful sandwich there. And then uh, DOT officer was in the median and then whipped around after I went by right as we came out of a construction zone. And he says, well, I just want to do a, you know, paperwork inspection on you. And I'm like, all right. I said, is there a, like, off ramp or something we can do so we don't have to sit here on the shoulder? I really don't like sitting on the shoulder. It's dangerous as hell. He said, no, well, there's not for quite a while, so if you just don't mind, we'll do this real quick. All right, what am I going to do? So now my sandwich is getting cold. But, yeah, he just wanted my uh, everything in the notebook or the book, you know, the permits and the registration. Of course, Rusty's losing his mind because he has to come up to the side door uh, to do that. So Rusty does not want anybody touching his truck. So hopefully this won't take too long and... We'll be back on the road, what do you think? <laughs> Alright, there goes the state trooper who pulled me over and that was pretty quick. We passed the inspection, flying color, and now we have another inspection. So that's just going to help us out even more with the newer MC. So, alright, not too shabby. Yeah, well it's hard to hear with Rusty barking the whole time, but yeah, um, you know, he did say he just wanted to do the... Uh, level three or the uh, paperwork inspection uh, and the driver's license and all that so I'm like fine okay uh, and I you know you heard me say you know can you close the door so I don't have to keep holding the dog and then you can just pop up into the window there so 
Uh, yeah, then he went back, and it was pretty fast, I don't know, a little over five minutes, something like that. And then I uh, came back and had me sign the thing, and he gave me my copy, and so now we've got another inspection. <laughs> Yay, that helps us. Yeah, and I did tell him afterwards, I said, you don't know how many way stations I've been pulling into, even though I get a green light, just hoping they would give me an inspection. Elliot got uh, level three once, he got a level one once, and now I've got a level three, so that's going to help us out even more as far as brokers knowing that we are legit, we're a real trucking company, we're not doing the double brokering, we're not doing all the shenanigans that a lot of these people out here are doing. So it'll just help us get uh, more loads, opens up more brokers, especially now that we're past the 90 days, we're past the four months after all. We're, so it's just gonna get, keep getting better and better. So it, uh, I'll take it, thank you. All right, yeah, I've been trying to get one for a long time and uh, yeah, it finally happened. I keep my equipment up, uh, I keep everything good. I, I make sure things are repaired before they need to be repaired. If there's something that has to be repaired that pops up, I try to take care of it immediately. So, you know, uh, we're a solid carrier. We're, we're doing everything right. We're following all the rules, unlike a lot of drivers out here. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, not everybody's gonna, you know, try to be, this is why, a lot of people get knocked out of service, you know, but this was a nice quick thing and just proves we're doing it all right. So all good news, so can't complain. All right, so here we are parked. It is the uh, 22nd, Thursday the 22nd. I'm parked in uh, Wilson, Wisconsin. Was gonna try to make it to Abbotsford, but I got a later start today than I really meant to. I've been having this neck pain thing that's been driving me crazy, so I'm not sleeping well. But, uh, you know, and luckily this morning before I left, I. I added more oil, I added more washer fluid, topped off the coolant, I did a really, really thorough pre-trip, which is good since I had that inspection. Not that it was a mechanical inspection, but you know, I always want to be up to snuff. Uh, and uh, Rusty got to run around a lot this morning, so took a little extra time. And uh, then now we'll just do our 10. We don't pick up our next load in um, Green Bay, Wisconsin, till two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I don't have to show up in Rothschild uh, with the crack of my butt, you know, like I normally do about 7, 7.30. Probably be there about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I know a subscriber did say, hey, they'd like to come meet me. So I responded on the comments saying, hey, here's where I'll be. Should be there around 10 o'clock-ish. So uh, maybe we'll be meeting them. So you might see them in the next video. What do you think? All right, I do have to say real quick that uh, somebody did put in the comments I read earlier today saying uh, they... they I hate to kind of admit it, but whenever they see Rusty, that makes them smile, makes them feel good, gives them a warm feeling inside and all that. And that's a lot of the reason I put Rusty in the videos. I know a lot of you tune in just for him. So, yeah, so you can see he's back, right back down there. He's on his little pet bed just uh, hanging out, kind of licking his fur and all that. Right, Rusty? Rusty? Hello? Yeah, he, he's occupied. Rusty, can you put your head up? Hello? Oh, see? There he is. <laughs> Oh, and also how I was talking about in yesterday's video how Garmin, I have a love-hate relationship with them. Every time they do an update, they wipe out those damn truck uh, locations. I checked again today, and they had another update fixing that. They tend to do that a lot. If they have an update that tends to screw that up, then usually within one to two days, they have another update that fixes it. So uh, here, I'll show you for proof. See, what I'm always talking about is you go to the where to right there, and see, it should have the truck locations and truck services. So if you hit truck locations, you see that you can hit truck stops and you get your list, all right? And usually this is a better list. They have like two separate categories because now I can go back out and if I can, if I go to just to categories, come on categories, there you go, come on. Then you can hit trucking and then you can hit truck stops. This is actually a separate list. They have two different lists they use. Sometimes you'll find truck stops in this list that aren't in the other list and vice versa, but generally the main list under just uh, Here it is at the top again truck locations is the better list and that's these are the two things that tend to disappear On the updates which always just irks my you know what I'm saying, baby All right, and hopefully my goal is to over this weekend try to get the full uh, OTR 1010 slash 810 review done for you uh, because I know I've been promising that for so long and hopefully I can get to it like I say at least they made good on that latest update and put that back in there you know what I'm saying yeah I just had to throw that up there real quick why not you know it turned out to be a good thing and uh, yeah we have another inspection so that just helps out some more right Rusty 
Yeah, I know. I love you too. They're coming. Don't worry. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a couple days because I'm a working truck driver. Clutch Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on Twitter where I always put rusty stuff. Uh, ring that bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Okay, like to change 100, please? Really? Griswold? Look, you know, why don't you just take half the money you were going to bet and give it to me, I'll take you out back, and I'll kick you in the balls, and we'll call it a day! All right, you ready? Coming down here. Start down here. Come down. And there we go. All right. All over that begging strip. I think he was disappointed that he didn't get one earlier because I keep the begging strip, see, up here, above my driver's seat, uh, right there. And you can see behind that, there's my permit book, that little blue book back there. So I had to pull those down to get to the permit book for the inspection today. And I think Rusty was like, well, what, 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 what gives? You pull them down, you don't give me one? Well, what's up there, Mr. Boss Man? But we're making good for it now, right, Rusty? Oh yeah. But I'm sure he was very confused earlier why I'm pulling the begging strips down and he doesn't get any. And there's this funny guy in the window and I gotta bark at him constantly. So, but anyway, you know, what you gonna do? Turned out to be a good thing. Well, you're all over that tonight, baby. All right, saw a crumb down there, get it.